Roxo Media House. Hey Frog fans, welcome inside the Flying Tea Club studio here at Roxo Media House. I'm Gabby Fasulo. And I'm Cam Gattel with the TCU Beach Volleyball Team. We're excited to host this edition of Frogs Today. In today's show, we're checking in on the women's soccer team, the football team, plus both of our basketball teams are on foreign trips. And our conference keeps getting bigger. The Big 12 adds three more teams. Today's show starts after a quick word from one of our sponsors. Stay tuned! At Higginbotham, we put people first. So, we simply start by listening to you. Whether you're searching for customized insurance, HR, or financial solutions to protect your home, car, health, business, or employees, our specialists are here to serve you, the people you care about, and your success. Higginbotham. Insurance, HR, and financial services. Inspired by you. Welcome back inside the Flying Tea Club studio. I'm your host, Gabby Fasulo. The women's soccer team is a week away from starting its season at home against SMU. The Frogs come into the season ranked number nine in the United Soccer Coaches preseason poll. They're coming off back-to-back -back appearances in the Sweet 16. In fact, they've made the NCAA tournament for the last seven years straight, but their sights are set on winning the Big 12 Conference and then the National Championship. To prepare for a deep postseason run, head coach Eric Bell front loads the schedule with tough non-conference opponents. And this team is up for the challenge. I think the most thing about non-conference play is like you get to play all the teams that everybody's talking about. I mean, we get a Florida State, we get a Penn State, like we get to go out there and play all the best teams and see where we're at. So when we step into season, like we're ready to go and we're ready to beat teams that might be at the same level as us. So I'm really excited to see like how we match up against those teams. You know, the Big 12 is competitive, but I think we get to pick our um, non-conference games just to like add some more competition. You know, you have you know the ACC with Florida State and you know, you have Penn State, and so just getting some extra experience with some more competition is really good and sets us up really well for the tournament later on. Three players were just named to the all Big 12 preseason team. Gracie Bryan, Olivia Hassler, and Cam Lancaster have all been honored. They lead a solid group of players who are returning, but there is a handful of new faces too. And the ladies seem to be gelling quickly. Chemistry is good. You know, we put a lot of work in it over the last semester as well as uh, last weekend. Um, and I think from a chemistry, cohesion, culture, the three C's, um, we're in a really good spot. I think in the like short amount of months that I've been here, I've already seen a big cha big change, like towards me and towards each other. Like I just think we all support each other in many ways. For example, like the fitness test that we just ran, the amount of support was crazy. Like we were all cheering each other on. Even we went in two separate groups. Even after the first group went, like we were exhausted and fatigued and tired, but still cheering on that second group. So I just think it made us stronger. The spring definitely did. I mean, obviously when I got here, I wasn't signed up for classes, so I couldn't practice with the girls yet. And obviously we only been doing running for the most part. So it was just a little hard to like bond on that part. But when you get started with them, you know, like you just start chatting about whatever. So I feel like it's been good so far. I think it's really, really improved. I mean, walking in as a freshman, you know, the environment here is already miles ahead of my club team. And so just to see it improve throughout the spring to now where we're at, everybody's so close, is really cool to see. And I think we're setting ourselves up really well for this season. Good luck, ladies. I look forward to seeing you in action soon. When we come back, we'll check in on our basketball teams. Plus, we'll hear from our new women's basketball head coach, Mark Campbell. Simply the best barbecue in Fort Worth. Dine-in, catering, or drive through 2900 Montgomery, just off I-30. Remember, the best barbecue in Fort Worth is at Railhead Smokehouse. Welcome back inside the Flying Tea Club studio. I'm your host, Cam Gattel. The men's basketball team continues its trip across Europe with games scheduled in Paris and London. If you follow their social media accounts, you saw how much fun they had in Paris, especially Emmanuel Miller. He might be having too much fun. Just finished our second game. We're out here in the beautiful city of Paris. Uh, I'm beyond excited to be out here with my team. Right here is the second fit of Paris. Can't wait to experience London with the guys and get things going. Go Frogs.
The guys are putting in some good work too. They dominated the competition in Paris, and then yesterday they continued their hot streak in London. The women's team is also on the road. They're in Costa Rica. They're bonding and playing against some talented professional basketball players in Central America. Based on all of the pictures they're posting on social media, it looks like they're having a lot of fun too. This is head coach Mark Campbell's first year leading the women's basketball program. He got here last spring and he got right to work. We're still going 100 miles an hour and um, the dust is slowly settling. There's the job part, the basketball piece, and there's the life part of finding a house and finding my kids a school and all that, but it's, it's all starting to sort itself out. The first part is just getting, getting a great group of young women, which we have. And then the next part of that is figuring out what their tools are, what their gifts are, and building an offensive scheme, a defensive scheme that empowers them to be their best. And so um, we've been able to do that at a couple different places, and uh, we're going to be able to do that here. We're, we're absolutely here to win, and we've added a great group of, of kids and talent. And we inherited a good group of kids and talent, so it's fun to see them and see their, their gifts. And, and we'll put that puzzle together. And right now, we just want to get this group acclimated to each other and start building the relationships and laying that foundation. And, and then the basketball piece will come. There's a good buzz right now. It starts with Jeremiah at the top, and it trickles down. And it's evident there is elite success across the board at TCU. And, we're one of the programs that needs to, to join the party. And so we're excited to do that, but the product is second to none. Elite academics, Fort Worth is an amazing college town. Facilities are second to none, fan support. I mean, it checks every box. And so, um, and, and I think you could tell with the kids that we've brought in already, um, we're gonna get this thing rocking and rolling. We expect big things from our basketball teams next spring. The Showmeyer will be rocking. When we come back, we'll check in on the TCU football team. Don't go away. John's Grill is the newest venture from John Pinnell and the Pinnell's Restaurant Group. A reach to table concept featuring food, beer, and spirits from around the great state of Texas. Our menu is designed by Chef Sean Alvarez and features two chef-inspired burgers, the fatty and the flatty, plus a brisket menu perfect for your casual night out. Fast, casual service in a fun, relaxed, family-friendly environment. Featuring 11 big screen TVs for you to catch the big game on. Our mixology team has created a crafts cocktail and beer menu. Featuring local spirits and brews from across Texas. John's Grill, home of the Players Club show each week. 2905 West Berry Street in Fort Worth. Or online at johnsgrill.com. The Flying Tea Club provides the everyday TCU fan and alum the ability to specifically support TCU student athletes. Flying Tea Club offers three levels of memberships. The Flying Tea Club is a nonprofit organization supporting the brand development of TCU student athletes through a series of unique event based networking opportunities, which are exclusive to our members. These events provide a great social engagement tool for our members and student athletes alike. Follow them on Instagram at Flying Tea Club or online at flyingteaclub.com. Coming off our best season in program history, our beach volleyball team is excited to join Conference USA beginning in 2024. And clearly, the Big 12 is where schools want to be for all their other sports programs. The Big 12 Conference just welcomed Arizona, Arizona State, and Utah. This comes on the heels of Colorado joining the Big 12 just a week earlier. It's going to make for some great competition and new rivalries. Our football team continues to prepare for the upcoming season. We're all excited for a new season that starts in just three weeks. Here's what some of the players had to say this week. Yeah, I mean, I, I say it all the time. Uh, we saw the blueprint, what it takes last year. Uh, got to see that um, and, and just came out in the winter, in the summer. Um, those days we didn't want to wake up. You wanted to press snooze on your alarm, but you get up and you go and attack the, the workout or attack the practice. Uh, we're kind of in those dog days of uh, – of camp right now where uh, everybody's tired. Um, everyone wants camp to end, but don't be everybody. You gotta be, uh, you gotta be special and don't, don't follow the pack. Really, really the whole team. Cause honestly, like last year, we really depended on really just the front line. If you, if you get what I'm saying as far as really starters. So, I mean, like the depth is there. The, the mentality is there with the depth. That's the main thing. Cause you can have all the depth, but the mentality is not there. But I, I definitely see the mentality like sports defensively for sure. The first football game of the season can't get here fast enough. I hope you've enjoyed today's show. For everyone behind the scenes here at Roxo Media House, I'm Gabby Fasulo. 
Thanks for watching. And I'm Cam Gachel. Thanks for always supporting TCU Athletics, and we hope to see you at our sand court soon. Until next week, Go Frogs! Roxo Media House.